guys, so I'm hanging out here with my host here in Porto Seguro. I got here like about two hours ago. Two hours. We just had breakfast and we've been talking for a little bit, but he's gonna be showing me around right now uh, about Porto Seguro. But real quick, man, what's your name? Edward. Edward. And but people call me Edgy. Edgy, Edgy. How long have you been a couch surfer? Uh, that's my first experience. Okay. Oh yeah, and what do you do for work here? I'm a teacher. I, my my subject is history. I teach for uh, kids and teenagers, mm -hmm. and sometimes I teach her. I teach for other teachers. All right, so let's go check out this small town. He tells me that it's pretty small, so this should be quick and easy. As you guys can see, this is very different from where we've been, and I guess this is more of what I was expecting because I haven't been to places like this. They call it popular here, but it's just a, I believe it's a poorer neighborhood, and this is a poorer neighborhood. And I haven't been to any places like this since I came to Brazil. And I know they exist, and it's good that I'm here because I haven't experienced it yet. But this is cool, and just to tell you the truth, it's not that bad. <laughs> Guys, we're about to go to a different place in town. This is closer to the beach, so of course it's nicer. Guys, we're walking in a market where there's a bunch of stores here. But this is a reservation, an Indian reservation. And they build these stores to make some income. And Edgy right here is telling me that most of these things are not even from this culture, well, from these tribes, I guess. It's a mix it's, of tribes. It's, yeah, it's kind of like everywhere, like, yeah. It's for tourists. <laughs> so tourists don't know, so they're just gonna buy something mm -hmm. and be like, oh, it's from those guys, but they don't know what they're buying. Mm -hmm. It happens everywhere I've been to. But uh, it's kind of nice. Definitely not for me, because <laughs> I don't buy any of this stuff. <laughs> I'm sure there's even some Chinese-made stuff around here. <laughs> But yeah, he was also telling me that there's not that many people right now because this is off season. Uh, maybe next week or in two weeks there'll be more people. But this is fine with me for it to be empty. There's this huge um, cross here. That's the original one. This is a new one. And it's right in the middle, right smack in the center of this uh, Indian reservation store kind of mall thing. So guys, we're in a different town now, and this one is uh, it's more colonial, I guess you can say, looking. No, it's, huh? no, it's more modern than colonial. I'll show you colonial. So I guess then it's not colonial, it's new. This right here is like a school, and this is where my host works and he's a teacher, so we're gonna go into one of the classes right now. So guys, that over there is the mangrove, and this street right here, it's a very nice street that we just crossed, I didn't show you guys. There's a lot of like, little shops and restaurants. But uh, in that mangrove, you keep going, there's nothing like for miles and miles and miles. But AJ is just driving me around, showing me like some of the places around here. So guys, this town is very touristy now that I see it, because we just drove through, what I was telling you, there was a mangrove, but it looks touristy. And then like, he tells me it's only touristic during the day. And then we're in Pasa Pasarela del Arco, mm -hmm. to Arco, and it's just by the sea. That's the sea, right? Mm -hmm. The sea is over there, so it's like a, a boardwalk. And then on, on that side, you have like all the stores, the restaurants. We stop here, and you're gonna see how many stores and souvenir shops there are. And you know, when I say uh, touristic, I mean Brazilian tourism, because not a lot of uh, foreigners come here, but they should. This is very nice. See all those stores, you guys? It keeps going and going for like a couple of blocks. 
don't know if you guys remember, here in Brazil it is winter now. Mm -hmm. It's winter, so it's raining here. The beach is raining and it's cloudy. But uh, there's summer, I guess, like in December, January. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when all the people, like when it gets really packed here. So like you're just saying, there's like, there's three sections, we just pass the souvenirs, mm -hmm. there's the restaurants and the bars at the end? Yeah, no, oh. it, and it's the, the souvenirs again. Oh, okay. But, and the, the end of the, the souvenirs, the third part, mm -hmm. you can find uh, nice restaurants too. You just can see there's a lot of restaurants here. It's supposed to be really nice uh, during the day. I haven't been to a touristy place like this since I got to Brazil. Like that touristy, no. Even uh, Vitoria wasn't that touristy. Like one section where there's so much tourism. Japanese restaurant. It's good to know. Guys, check it out. This whole street, I was telling uh, Edgy here that it's like prime tourism destination. Uh, I've been in other places and this is what? Tourists, like, you know, old yeah. tourists, you know, like that. You know what I'm talking about, like the commercial tourist loves is this this kind of settings where it's like a bunch of stores, restaurants, just the ambience. It's perfect for that. But you know, this is all about uh, Brazilian tourism. It's not about like international tourism. Because if it was, I was telling him this would like explode. This is this is what tourists like. So AJ here is telling me that this is a plaza, not a plaza for a monument for the. Colombo discover America, but Pedro Alvarez Cabral discover Brazil. Yeah. 